go to that book I showed you real quick. Uh, this is Who's Who's in the Bible. It's, you can get it off Amazon, all right? The book Who's Who in the Bible. You also have one, actually. To get the one with the Bible, with the Old Testament, New Testament, Apocrypha. Oh, look at my fringes. My fringes right in the picture. He couldn't zoom in for me. All right, read that for me. <laughs> Got my fringes in the damn picture. <laughs> I told on myself, huh? Go ahead. The international character of the city fostered the development of a variety of cults from as far away as Egypt and Phoenicia. So this is talking about Corinth. So in Corinth, they were they were uh, extracting religions and cults from Egypt and Phoenicia. Now remember, we read earlier where Aphrodite derived from who? Isis, Ashtaroth, which was the goddesses of Egypt and Phoenicia. All right, go ahead. The chief shrine, however, was the temple of the Greek goddess of love, Aphrodite. So I remember a rapper said that in one of his songs lately. He said his wife was Aphrodite up. And I was like, he can't know the history of Aphrodite. She was the, she was, uh, the mother of prostitutes. She was a mother of whores. And Bruh. this your wife you talking about. Like, our people got to research before they say stupid things. Right? Go ahead. Although the cult was debased by foreign influences, Read. the priestess prostitutes. Wait a minute. The priestess prostitutes. So that priestess, which is when you go to a priest, that is usually the leader or someone that is uh, uh, interceding on behalf of God. You go to a priest or you go to a prophet and you ask questions. Hey, how can I get my marriage right? How, how can I eat better? What, is the Bible, what does God say about this? What does God say about that? Right? So these priests was prostitutes. So what you think they was telling the women? Go on, bust it open. Go on, do your thing. Go on, twerk, sister. You understand? That's what they were telling them. That's what we're looking at. It priestess. Prostitutes, read. The priestess prostitutes of Aphrodite at Corinth are said to have numbered a thousand. So she had a thousand priestess prostitutes. I don't know if you ever seen Head of State. You seen Head of State? You remember the little Edomite girl <laughs> that with the blonde hair? He's like, what's she do? What's her job? And he was like, well, we had we was tired of getting caught up in sex scandals. So, <laughs> so we had to commission a team of super whores, right? That's what she was doing. She was training super whores. Bruh. And they was prostitutes because guess what come with idolatry? A different spirit. A spirit of whoredom comes with the black woman as God. That's what we looking at. And that's what our people involved in till this day. Right? Go to Beyonce. Show that picture of Beyonce real quick. There is a thing called the Church of Beyonce. I couldn't believe it. Somebody told me I had to go Google it. There's a people that worship Beyonce. They got a book and everything. You, this thing crazy. Show a picture. Let's see who she dressed like. Show you that they that they do this to our entertainers. They pushing this on us for the woman to be above the man. You got that picture real quick? Look at this. Like the, 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 the Statue of Liberty, right. right? The mother of harlots. All that. That's all. That's why the Lord talk about that. He talk about that through all, his, all the scriptures. He go into like the mother of harlots. You understand? The queen of heaven. All these things. Right? That's Astarte, that's Isis, that's Ashtaroth, that's Ceramicus, that's Diana of Ephesus, that's Aphrodite, that's the Statue of Liberty, that's all that, bro. All that. Yeah, she pregnant on that picture. You you know, you know, uh yeah. what's funny about that is that they pushing our women to be over us. Right. But let it let a black woman try to be over the white man and see right. what happens. Right, that's right. Let the uh, black woman try to be over the a rad man. And see what happened. Right. They putting they putting women to, women to death in those countries right. for dressing out of order for women pa women wearing pants. Right. For, for, for you showing this much of your face. Right. They put the woman to death like that. For real. Also, you got to remember the article we looking at. It's the brothers that's putting the women over them, saying right. the black woman is God. You're saying she God. It's brothers doing that. The hell is this? Negro crazy as hell. Hey, go to Durga. Go to Durga real quick. I just want to show you that people are actually worshiping Beyonce, right? And we know Beyonce ain't no goddess. Ain't no god. Didn't her husband cheat on her and she made a whole album about it? Bruh. <laughs> he went and slept with a porn star. And her, right? sister, her sister got the fight with him. And her sister done beat the Negro right, up, right. knocked the nigga upside the head in the, uh, in the <laughs> elevator. <laughs> but the black woman is God. He Now, let's just be honest. Beyonce, our sister, she's an attractive woman, correct? So why why we why why would he because Jay-Z ain't the best looking brother. Let's just be real. Well, I think we all know that. I, that's the elephant in the room, okay? Jay-Z not the best looking brother. Right. right. 
So he pulled Beyonce somehow. Back in the day, if you saw, if he was in our high school and he came through with the baddest girl in school, you'd be like, man, how your ugly <laughs> get her? You understand? So you would think that usually when a man get a woman that he's he in his mind he thinks that she's above his standards, right? Am I right about saying that? Right. He 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 looked down on himself, so he looked at her as above his standards. So usually when you see that, right, then you see a situation where a brother ain't gonna cheat. He gonna do everything. This brother went and cheated. So obviously Beyonce ain't no goddess. You understand? Cause she couldn't even hold on to the brother she was with. Now, he embarrassed her. He embarrassed her in front of all her fans, right? So read this real quick. Let's go down real quick. Durga. Durga. Durga is identified as the principal Hindu goddess of war. Go ahead. Strength and protection. Read. The legend centers around... Com- now, now, I'm sorry. Notice she's the goddess of war, strength, and protection. Now, we read earlier where Isis and all those goddesses, they were goddesses of what? War. Right? Go ahead. The legend centers around combating evils and demonic forces that threaten peace, Read. prosperity, and dharma. Go ahead. The power of good over evil. Read. Durga is also scroll down. Durga. Durga is also a fierce form of the protective mother god. There you go again. So all these different um, races have come up with goddesses or gods. That they call uh, women goddesses or mother goddesses, the mother of God, right? So show me Cardi B. Hey, it's crazy. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I just got to go, go back ahead. to it. So you, it's basically, if she was a goddess, right? Right. This brother committed idolatry right. when, he, when he cheated. Damn. Right. Spiritual <laughs> fornication. Damn. Damn. Hey, go to the, uh, I'll pray to the most. I'll get to the call here in just a second. But I want to show Cardi B real quick. Let's look at that. How you gonna have a war with all men and then y'all praying to a woman to deliver you? Right. <laughs> but it ain't no women on the battlefield. Man, that's some crazy stuff. This. Now look at this. This this car to be she our sister. She know the king. What's she uh Simeon? I think she's Dominican. She's Simeon, right? So they doing this. See this? She got some shoes or something in her hand. I don't know if those her shoes or what. But what is the significance of having her have all those arms? Is to push idolatry on our people to make it cool to be an idol worshiper because people worship entertainers, especially our people. We look to entertainers to be our leaders, right? Now, go from there. Go give me the book of Wisdom of Solomon 14, verse 12. Let's get back in the scripts. Hey, read that Wisdom of Solomon 14, 12. So says he was trying to holler. That's what he was doing. Right. Hey, sis, you know you God, right? <laughs> sis came in with much knowledge. Well, how I'm God and the seed was put in me to have the children. Damn. Damn, she cut him. Go ahead. The book of the Wisdom of Solomon. That's Talk- what we need y'all sisters to do. Stand up against this wickedness, man. Don't let these dudes come fill your head talking about you God just so they can get some. That's all they want. Read. The book of the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 12. For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication. So all those idols we looked at, all those women goddesses and stuff that we looked at over time, that's why I wanted to show it, our people worshiping that. The Bible says the devising of idols is the beginning of spiritual fornication. You begin to fornicate with these guys. You become, you you start to get these guys' spirit. If they goddess of, of fertility, if they goddess of, of being whores and stuff like that, that gets on our women. Our women become whores like that. Our women get that same spirit on them. You understand? That's what the Lord is saying. When you fornicate with these gods, these idols, you become like these gods, these idols. Go ahead. And the invention of them, the corruption of life. And the invention of them is the corruption of life, right? Life is corrupted by this. Go ahead. Verse 13, for neither were they from the beginning. Because we read from the beginning what the Lord said, make man in our image, in our likeness. Male and female made he them and told them to be repl- to replenish the earth, be fruitful and multiply. Read. Neither shall they be forever. Right. For by the vain glory of men, they entered into the world. It said by the vain glory of men. We got two calls. Hey, it's, bu- it's buffering real bad too on YouTube, by the way. Oh, uh, I don't know why, but it is. Uh, maybe we bringing out this message and some Negroes done flagged it. Negro one still trying to holler at you. <laughs> they done flag. They didn't call Esau on us, probably. Hey, hey, you know what they're talking about online right now? They're talking about the black woman isn't God. And they're <laughs> using the Bible to show it. 
Go ahead, read again, 14. 14, for by the vainglory of men, they entered into the world. So you see this? By the vainglory of men, they entered into the world. Man created these idols. They not of God. Go ahead. And therefore, shall they come shortly to an end. And they going to all come to an end. How we know they coming to an end? We see these so-called black goddesses out here doing much evil now. You understand that? Corrupted. Can get harmed. Could die. If they God, then why come they can't? Why they ain't made themselves immortal? Because you know the black woman was really God. She would have made herself immortal. And she'd be smacking all of us upside the head. Because right. the spirit in her want to rule over us just like Eve wanted to rule over Adam. Let's get down to this? verse 21. Verse 21. Read. And this was an occasion to deceive the world. So it said this was an occasion to deceive the world. Go ahead. For men serving either calamity uh -huh. or tyranny Read. did ascribe unto stones and stocks the incommunicable name. Meaning God. They, they started calling stones and stocks gods. Idols, rocks, gods. Read. Verse 22. Moreover, this was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of God. Go ahead. But whereas they lived in the great war of ignorance. What? Where they, whereas they lived in the great war of ignorance. They lived in the great war of ignorance. Go ahead. Those so great plagues called they peace. It says so, those so great plagues called they peace. Now let me show you something. Pull up the video about the, the sisters, the growing number of black women leaving churches. Watch this, y'all. I want y'all to see this video. Church worship. All of them are in search of something else. A spiritual belief that connects them to their ancestors and where they can feel more empowered to control their own well-being. They have found it in ancient forms of spiritual contact. Some call it witchcraft, a term they accept and embrace. For most of us, this is how we worship, a tradition that predates us all. This too is an ancient art of worshiping, not to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, but to spirits and deities. This is the oceans back. and date back to. I mean, I ain't tripping, man. Was that a pineapple? Oh, That's yeah. What happened to your chest? There is powerful <laughs> niggardry at work here. Yeah. <laughs> this some real deal niggardom. Is that some oranges? This sister is anointing them with oranges and pineapples. The hell what, is this? What, what, what ancient, um, what, <laughs> what ancient <laughs> practice is this? And what it's supposed to do? Make you feel, smell cit citrusy? Right. I don't understand. So it's going to smell, so it's got superfoods on huh? What the hell? Like, play it, bro. This, too, is an ancient Why's art. Why's he putting around their back? Not what the God, hell? Not to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, but to spirits and deities. Man, it's just got to. the oceans and date back to pre-slavery days in Africa. We weren't doing Artifact, that, I don't think. Which is. Um, whatever the situation calls for. So if you come to me with pleasantries you being respectful you'll get glinda the good witch of the suburbs but if you come at me with negativity and meanness and disrespect then you'll get eveline sister pause Worst. bro what are you get talking about man she crazy get exodus 2218 <laughs> bring it out <laughs> that's just a bugged out man that sister said, if you come to her and all them sisters over there y'all be ashamed of y'all selves and they following this crazy sister she over here got oranges and apples. This is how crazy we look. Read it, read it, read it. The book of Exodus chapter 22 and verse 18. Go ahead. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. So <laughs> this is why the Lord said, hey, look, if y'all got witches in the land, destroy them. The most I had the witches put to death, y'all. The most I ain't playing with no witchcraft. Get that real quick in Deuteronomy 18 and 10. They breaking God's law. That's right. This is why people jacked up. And I guarantee you, none of them women married. Cause ain't no way I'm gonna be a husband. I'm at the crib. Hey, babe, where you finna go with your head covering that white thing on you got? What? Why? Why you taking all our bananas? Hey, man, give me them apples back. I'm finna. Bruh. I wanna know where the orange is going. Where you going with all them oranges? Every time you go ready to go over that crazy woman house, you taking all the oranges and apples. The kids <laughs> I mean, wanna bro, eat. Come on now, dog. Where, where the men is? This... Come on, man. Man, ain't no men following that. This was doing it in her in her one bedroom apartment. Ain't no Negro showing up to her apartment to, for no seance. Food already hard to come back. Right, man. She want to take it out of the house. It's a pandemic. And this sister got Poor get, just, just, just wasting. I ain't eating none of them oranges and apples after that. Oh you cry. If she do got a man, he come home and say, man, damn, you been doing that witchcraft again, man? Dang. I'm always got to buy oranges and apples. He get in Walmart, pick up everybody like, hey, man, look. Every time you come to Walmart, you get all these apples. You just love fruit. Go ahead. <laughs> 
Bruh. Go to Deuteronomy, please. The book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 18 and verse 10. They fall crazy. Read. There shall not be found among this God, you. This God right here, God anointing folks with apples and oranges and bananas. What the, the hell? hell is this? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 18 and verse 10. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire. So that's abortion, read. Or that uses divination. Divination. That's witchcraft. She said, she said, if you come to me nice and respectful, you'll get the good witch. But if you cross me, I'm your worst nightmare. Sister, you ain't got no power. You ain't got no power to call no spell on nobody. No, no enchantments work against the real Israelites. That's the only right. power you got is to seduce a brother into falling in love with you. Because that's what these women, that's what these weak brothers do. They fall in love with crazy sisters like that. Read. Or an observer of times. Observer of times. Or an enchanter. Enchanter. Or a witch. A what? A witch. The Bible says there shall not be found among you any of these. We're not supposed to have no witches amongst us. Sisters practicing witchcraft and, and tarot cards. You know what I'm talking about? And and palm readings. God ain't God don't deal with that. So, okay, what's your tarot cards say about why we came in slavery on slave ships? And why every four years we got to uh, uh, vote for our next slave master. When we going to get up out of here? What's your tarot card? What's your orange say about that? Bruh. What's your banana that you going to eat when they leave? They don't know that. When, <laughs> when they leave, she eat all them bananas. Crazy as hell. GMO. Your GMO oranges and, and bananas. <laughs> That you got from the so-called white man. Damn. So the she is this? so she offering up GMO fruit, <laughs> to, bananas with no seeds in them, cause you know bananas supposed to have seeds in them. Right. She offering up bananas with no seeds in them to a, a deity. Man, you can't make this up. Hey, go back to the video. It get worse. It get worse, y'all. <laughs> it get worse. Show that, bro. They have many names and titles and ranks within their belief system. Oh, they got rank. They're college educated <laughs> professional women. Pause it, pause it, pause it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess their rank goes with how many bees they got on and what color hair wrap they're wearing. So maybe if you got the red hair wrap, hair wrap you knew. If you got the white hair wrap, you a soldier. Hey. <laughs> you brought 30 oranges. Yo, you just got ranked up. <laughs> hey, sis, we're going to promote you this week. Since you're you, a single sister team. Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sis, he, the hell is this? Hey, sis, hey, you've you been real diligent <laughs> to the ministry. You done brought plenty, plenty of jackfruit, grapefruit, and oranges and apples. So we're going to promote you this week. Bring you a yellow hair. <laughs> Bruh. Hey, so the next one, bro. Yo, keep showing it, bro. It get worse. Those who believe that theirs is a truer example of worship that is inclusive of the genders. It connects them, they say, to their ancestors and fills a need not found in traditional worship, though most of them grew up in the church. I was raised Christian, all Christians in my family. Um, in fact, my That's why she jacked up, the Christian, that white Jesus. So, messes I also all up. grew up Christian. I grew up Anglican in the Episcopal Church. The older I got, the more disconnect I felt. I was raised Baptist. My what? She doing stretches? She stretching? My mom a deaconess. I was in church all the time. These women are part of a sect, Ile Ola Afefe Osa Meiji, spiritual temple. They worship and offer prayers to Ashun, a predominant deity. Ashun is a deity, Isis. Of um, aesthetics, beauty, sex. Whoa, whoa, pause. Sensual. Pause. Is that not the common correlation of all gods and god or goddesses, idols? It's right. all about sex. These women don't like when they was going, because... Because some of them may have grew up back in the day when pastors used to actually get on women about being whores. Right? Right? So they hear that. They're like, man, that Bible says I can't have sex with who I want to have sex with. That Bible says I can't smoke my dope. That Bible says I can't do this, I can't do that. So let me deviate from that and let me go into something that allows me to be a whore. That's exactly what they want. You understand? Get that real quick about the itching ears in 2 Timothy 4 and 3. Is it 4 and 3? Get that real quick about itchy ears. You are, hey, you got to really watch this. You got to watch this in Israel, too, because people are coming to Israel with these different idolatries and doctrines, right? And then they'll try to push it secretly in the congregation. If we sniff it out, we're going to blast you. Go ahead. The book of 2 Timothy, chapter 4 and verse 3. What the hell is this? Go ahead. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. So now, that time is now. Our people are not enduring sound doctrine. Read. But. 
After their own lust. After what? Their own lust. So these sisters, they want to be whores and they want to rule over men. That's why they start a cult where they got uh uh <laughs> where they got pecans and damn um walnuts and oranges. They did they used to have that at Christmas. Christmas, they used to have a wall and they had a little nutcracker. You had a little mouth. You put a little nutcracker in there. That's what they doing. They cracking up. <laughs> eating dried rice and stuff. Talking about that. Man, come on, man. You, you finish that? No, sir. Finish it out. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heat to themselves teachers. Read. Having itching ears. Having itching ears. Itching ears, meaning I don't who that Bible. No, my ear itching for something more wicked than that. I want something I could be in sin in. You finish that out? Read. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. It said they should do what? Turn their turn away their ears from the truth. And they're going to turn away their ears. So Because if you go to these sisters, some of them might repent. But that head one, that one that says she the good witch of the north or whatever the hell she said. Or the Bruh. good witch of the, of the uh, <laughs> she the good witch of the apartment complex. The wicked witch of the west. <laughs> <laughs> the hell is this? Hey, man, I ain't going to even get on her like that, man. I'm going to let her live. Uh... You finished it. Finish it out. And shall be turned unto fables. That's a fable right there. That is idolatry. Now go back to the video. It get worse, y'all. I, I know y'all probably saying, "How can it get worse?" It gets worse. Go wow, back about ten seconds. They are growing by one fifty. Right there. Right there. That's fine. Dominant deity. She's the deity or the Arisha of um, aesthetics, beauty, sex. Sensuality. They are growing numbers of African American women who have chosen for themselves a new life, leaving the church in search of more meaning in their lives. And yes, it can be called witchcraft. At a recent convention in Baltimore, more than 200 witches gathered, a sisterhood. <laughs> but their spells are for good, not for evil. This is the women of the women are preparing an offering to Ashun on behalf of uh, a woman omelet, in making an omelet. looking for a mate. The omelet type dish is the omelet with type. No, that's an omelet. A favorite of Ashun. Prayers are said over the offering and for the woman in need. A portion is offered to Eshu, the male counterpart of Ashun, and placed in a secret place beneath the stairs of this Odin home. Man, pause there, bro. Shell. Pause it. What? Wow. Bro. Go back to Wisdom of Solomon 1422. Oh, yeah. Oh, there is powerful niggardry at work here. <laughs> These sisters make an omelet and put it up under the staircase in the closet. Bruh. And say they offered it to their God. But when they come home after they after they done set up under after that nasty omelet, they're set up under the bottom of, of the carpet. She come home and that omelet still there and got the whole house stanked. Talk about she this? offering to the idol. Hey, they, they say the same thing. You remember how your mama used to have you cook Christmas, cook uh cookies to Santa Claus, and then you come downstairs and half of them be eating, you find out your stepdad or your dad or your uncle, we he the one that came through and ate them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You kids are putting the prison on the right, tree. You kids are like, like, damn, man. Hell? Hey, um, <laughs> you Santa Claus? I thought he was white. Bruh. I thought I thought Santa Claus would eat my cookies every year. Go ahead. <laughs> The book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 22. Go ahead. Moreover, this was not enough for them. You can pull that down. No, no, keep it, keep it. It's one more part. Go ahead. Moreover, this was not enough for them, that they erred in the knowledge of God. That they erred in the knowledge of God. It's not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of God. Read. But whereas they lived in the great war of ignorance. They living in a war of ignorance. That's ignorant. Why would you do that? And it said that they was college-educated black women. They college educated. Go ahead. Those so great plagues called they peace. Right. Now, it said those great plagues called peace. Now, we could, we was laughing so you couldn't hear it. Go back on the video about 10 seconds while she making the omelet. It's going to tell you why she making the omelet. Go back. Yeah, right there. Listen. To be a favorite of a shun. Prayers are said over the offering. Go back, go back. 10 more seconds. woman in need. A type dish is sweetened with honey. Go back, go back. To be a favorite in this ritual, the women are preparing an offering to Ashun on behalf of a woman in California who's looking for a mate. Pause, pause. Did. The sister looking for a husband. So they make an omelet and put it up <laughs> under the staircase and pray over the omelet to this idol so that she can get... I thought she was God. What she need a man for? Bruh. There's some tomfoolery. What do what that thing say? Play that thing again. What'd he say? Uncle Ruckus, what'd he say? Oh, yeah. What happened to your chef? They have powerful <laughs> niggardry at work. There's man. some powerful niggardry. <laughs> go, hey, go back. Read Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 23. Read 23 now. Go first, ahead. Verse 23. 
For while they slew their children in sacrifices. Abortions, read. Or you secret ceremony. This is a secret ceremony, right? Did nobody know about this? They done called old boy. They said, look, you know, we got our own little cult. Y'all come on down and come in. Dude, I want to know a little bit about this. Black man went in there and exposed these sisters. They looking crazy on national TV, man. It's embarrassing. They using secret ceremonies, man. She got the seasoning in the back. She got sugar. Yeah, she black. That's a black woman for sure. She got the sugar in one, the flour in the other. She black. Go ahead. Or made revelings of strange rights. Or made revelings of strange rights. Play the video. Dish is sweetened with honey, believed to be a favorite of a shun. Prayers are said over the offering and for the woman in need. A portion is offered to Eshu, the male counterpart of Ashun. Wait a minute, pause. So the what? offering made to the man. This bro, you can't Dang. make this up, man. Our people crazy. What the hell is this? Man, get that. With, uh, just get Jeremiah four twenty two, man. They still can't get away. They can't get away <laughs> from the, the male counterpart. You cannot get away from that. You can't. Why is you trying? They're trying to go all around. <laughs> Man, them sisters be watching Chris Rock. Man, what Chris Rock said when they stand up, you cook a, you you uh, put a pot on on the stove. Five o'clock, a man, and show up. Oh damn, man, that, these... that's exactly what she did. She made an omelet to get a man. Damn. 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 Go ahead. The Book of Jeremiah. Chapter... Now, hold on before you read. I'm sorry. Play play the end. I just want you to see this part. They get worse beneath the stairs with this Odin home. What? Using shells, they ask the spirit if she is pleased. Four shells are tossed to the floor. Two land up. To land down, bounce. The gift is accepted. She accepts Pause. it. The tradition. What? They shooting dice. Man. So is that you? <laughs> hey, hey, bro, come on now, dog. They in there. They in there shooting on, dice. Man. So that the so that the deity hear their prayers. Man, put that down, man. If I get mad at these sisters, man, give me Jeremiah four twenty two, man. You can't make man. this up, man. It's some real stuff. Our people really in idolatry, man. Read, read, read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 4 and verse 22. Go ahead. For my people is foolish. Our people foolish, man. Read. They have not known me. They have not known the Lord. These sisters don't know God. They do not know why they in oppression, why they going through what they going through. Read. They are sadist children. They are sadist. Sadist means stupid, in case you didn't know. It means dumb, stupid. The Bible say, God say, you could be college educated and be dumb as a rock. That's he actually right. thinking that if you make an omelet and take and, and get you some banana pudding, you can get the <laughs> you can get a man. Man, go ahead, man. And they have none understanding. They have none understanding. That it on that? No, sir. They really? are wise to do evil. We wise to do evil. That's some real deal witchcraft evil they doing right there, man. But to do good, they have no knowledge. So our people have no knowledge to do good. They don't know how to get a husband. The Bible tell you how to get a husband. Be a righteous woman of God, and God will give you a righteous man. But That's you wanna, right. You want to make omelets, man. Mm. Go, uh, go to, uh, go back to Wisdom of Solomon real quick. Uh, read verse, uh, chapter fourteen, verse twenty-four to twenty-seven, real quick. The, the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter fourteen and verse twenty-four. Read it kind of quick if you can. Yes, sir. They kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled. Read. But either one slew another traitorously. Read. Or grieved him by adultery. Read. So that there reigned in all men without exception blood, manslaughter, theft, dissimulation, corruption, unfaithfulness, tumult, perjury. Pull up um, abortion for me real quick, the abortion statistics. Because when you read the scripture, it says that so there reigned in all men without exception blood, Manslaughter, right? So read that for us, uh, Soldier John. Yes, sir. Tragic black women abort at almost four times the rate of white women. So let's go down to the numbers. I don't want to read the whole thing because we ain't got much time. So zoom in on those numbers right there. On the chart. Uh, on the chart, a little bit above the chart. A little this, bit above the chart, right there. Yeah, non black, no, non Hispanic black. Non Hispanic black women accounted for 38 percent of all reported abortions. Go ahead. Non Hispanic white women accounted for 35 percent of all reported abortions. That's a lie. Go ahead. Hispanic women accounted for 18.8 percent. I guarantee you, the so called white man, because he the devil, the Bible speak of. I guarantee you, he switched that Hispanic number and the white women number. You understand? Because white folks. They know they they ain't in no they ain't in no type of oppression. They ain't we be a lot of times women abort their children and and and, and this is not condoning it because we so oppressed and they know they don't want to have a baby by that wicked Negro they laid with, or they know they ain't got the money to take care of the child. 
So that's why a lot of our sisters resort to the whole abortion thing because they know we oppressed. So when I see the Edomites numbers only 3% less than the black woman, that show me that this is a lie. This is all uh, what they say, um, inflated. Those right. numbers are inflated, I, I say, uh, I believe. Also, when you put them two numbers together, the Hispanic, so-called Hispanic and the black, mm -hmm. that's over, that's over, that's almost 60%. Yeah. You know, you pushing, uh, and then it's got 8.2 for other races. Yep. That's your, your Native Americans right there. So you pushing, uh, 60, 75%. Right. You know, uh, 65% that's of all point. reported abortions come from the Israelites. Now you, matter of fact. 35 and 35 is 70, right? So you add three from that, that 38. That's right. what, 70, that's 70, what, 73? Eight. That's 73, then you add that other 8%. That's 81%. 81% are Israelites right. having abortion. Now, those numbers make more sense to me. Right. Uh, read where it says, despite the black community making up. Despite the black community making up just 12% of the United States population, black women also had the highest number of reported abortions out of the 32 reporting areas, according to the CDC. So go back to the scripture real quick. And uh, verse 25, this is what comes from idolatry. Read. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 25. Go ahead. So that, the, so that there reign in all men without exception. Read. Blood. Go ahead. Manslaughter. Read. Theft. Theft. And dissimulation. Read. Corruption. Corruption. Unfaithfulness. Worry. Read. Tumult. Read. Perjury. Lying under oath. Oh, God, I ain't do that. Read. Disquieting of good men. Disquieting of good men. Can't find good men. These sisters can't find a good husband because they want to be an idol. They want him to worship her. Go ahead. Forgetfulness of good turns. Read. Defiling of souls. And their souls become defiled because they start sleeping with all these different men saying there's nothing wrong with being a whore. The slut walk. Y'all slut shaming. All that stuff like that. Go ahead. Changing of kind. What the Bible say? Changing of kind. I'm going to have to skip ahead real quick. Give me um, the black woman is God. The, the video is let's say the black woman is God. I had you put it up next and go to 43 minutes. We're just going to 43 minutes. We're only going to re watch like 10 seconds of it. I just want you to see this sister. Her name is London Breed. She is the mayor of all cities. That of all the cities she, she the mayor of, she the mayor of San Francisco. Homosexual capital. So show that. As the first black woman mayor leading a city that prides itself on advancing racial equality. I'm so proud to be here with you. This year has been incredibly challenging. We are living through a global pandemic, an economic recession that is exposing the disparities that exist in our society, and a powerful racial uprising that is forcing our country to confront the true meaning of justice for all. And when we talk about equality in our city, we know that has to include empowering black women artists who deserve an opportunity and space to share their voice through their incredible talent. That means highlighting exhibits like the black woman is God. And frankly, we are. Pause. Since Pause. Oh, hell no. Pull up the next thing from her. I'm going to show you what the black woman and God get you. Cause she's like I said, she's the mayor. She said the black woman is God and we are. She said that with pride, right? Right. Right? So we read Changing of Kinds. Zoom in on this. Look at this. Go up. Go up. Mayor London mm -hmm. Breeze. Mayor London Breeze's first year in office highlights LGBTQ issues. Go down. Pride. Look at that. Pride. Look at that. Uh, can you pull that up off the side or zoom in? Because that, that, the Facebook Twitter thing on the side is in the way. Or zoom in, maybe. You can read it from here. Yes, sir. Uh, go down to where it says as Lenny Kravitz. As Lenny Kravitz croons, it ain't over till it's over, but we are likely at the beginning of a new and potentially lengthy, lengthy defining era in San Francisco politics with Mayor Breed leading the leading the charge. Go ahead. And the, if the past is any predicate, Predictor, predictor of the future of the future lbtq issues will remain at the forefront of her team's objective you hear this you hear this you hear this so if the black woman is god like she said was then why is she advocating for two black men and two black women to lay together and can't have children that don't make no sense if the black woman is god and she is the creator of all life and she understands the significance of a man and a woman being together right having children why would she kill off 
who she made. That don't make, I, I made men and women, but I want them to lay with each other, which even nature tell you is wrong. You understand? So this is why we read in Wisdom of Solomon. I just want to show that part. Read Wisdom of Solomon one more time. We're talking about changing of kind. Read that again. Wisdom of, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 26. Disquieting of good men, forgetfulness of good turns, defiling of souls, changing of kind. So that's what she advocates. She said the black woman is God, but then in the, but when you go and look up her political views, all her main things is about pushing LGBTQ. Bruh. So how the black woman God, but she <laughs> how the black woman God is she gonna kill off her creation? That right. don't make no sense. The hell is this? Because that's what homosexuality does, right? Yes. Right. So if the black woman is God, then why would you want a man to 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 get a a, a surgery? If the black woman is God, that would mean that her body is sacred, right? Her private parts are sacred. So why would a man have to? Cut his private part ahead, because that's what they do. They cut their private part down the middle, and they and they cut a hole in their bottom, and they and they. I'm just being. I hate to be graphic, but I'm just telling you how it go down. This is how the surgery is performed, right? And they they turn it into a vagina, but he don't have ovaries. He can't have children. Right. So if the black woman's God is so sacred, then why would you be okay with a man doing all that to himself to mimic being a woman? It's confusion. It's idolatry. It's evil. That's why God says what? Changing of what? Changing of kind. Read. Disorder in marriage. That's why some of you brothers are afraid to tell your wife to sit her behind down and be quiet. This is why. Because of that idol. Go ahead. Adultery. Adultery. And shameless uncleanness. You know what shameless uncleanness is? Having sex on your menstrual. Because that's what women in the streets like to strip her. She at the club every night. Right. You tell me she missed seven whole days of making that money? Hell no. So a lot of times you go to the strip club, some of them sisters might be on their menstrual. That's some that's some nasty, evil, wicked stuff, man. And our daughters is watching this stuff on television. Hearing these things, well, not our daughters. Right. We make sure they ain't watching this crap. But the world's, our children, because those are our daughters too. These little sisters in the world are my little sisters. Those are our daughters. And they falling behind this crap. The Bible says changing of kinds, shameless uncleanness, read. Verse 27. For the worshiping of idols not to be named is the beginning, the cause, and the end of all evil. It's the beginning, the cause, and the end of all evil. All evil come from idolatry, especially worshiping the woman. All evil come from that thing right there. All right? So uh, give me the young Pharaoh real quick. We're going to skip forward because we I had a lot. I had too much. <laughs> I had way too much. Hey, give me Isaiah 3 and 12 real quick because she, leading, she leading the way, right? She is a uh, politician, right, for San Francisco. Right. Read it. The book of Isaiah, chapter 3 and verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. The Bible said women ruling over us. Not that one, the other one, because this one right here. Going, well, no, 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 no. Show me this, because he only talked for like one minute. But um, give me, uh, keep reading the scripture. I'm sorry. Oh, my people, they which lead thee. So the Bible says, oh, my people. They which lead thee, read, cause thee to err. Those that lead us cause us to err, meaning who? Women. Women cause us to sin. She not capable of leading the world. She not capable of leading her family, leading the household. That ain't the way That's God set right. it up. She's supposed to be in subjection to her husband, who is the God on earth. Who is the ruler on the earth. The only being on earth God made to be able to procreate. What well, in every man that's walking around on the planet Earth, there is life. We make life. The sisters harbor the life, nourish the life, grow the life. We make life. Life comes from men. It's a spirit in your sperm. Think about it. Oh, it's, you got millions of sperm cells, and one of them make it through, and that's your daughter or your son that come through, right? Right. Don't your daughter or your son that come through got a spirit? Come on, man. We, we the gods on this Earth. We make children, not the woman. That's right. And as soon as these sisters get this in their head, we'll all be better off. You understand? As soon as you men get it through your head, like this Negro right here. This Negro right here, he a fool. What I tell you? What what part? What uh no, uh what what time stamp? Oh, six minutes. Go to six minutes. Cause I want to be done by 7 30 because I want to get to the black KKK part. So let's let's speed through this. We got nine. Minutes. I'm giving it up. We're gonna talk about Astro projection, we're going to talk about pulse tube dilution refrigerators, we're going to talk about extraterrestrials, we're going to talk about uh, 
government agendas. Like anybody who know how I go, I come with fat. Like I actually recently just put out a document of Marilyn Monroe phone being tapped and being executed for trying to release public information on extraterrestrial because she was mad at JFK who was pillow talking to her. So with that being said, I'm putting Pause it out to let y'all know. I just to let the people know, those extraterrestrials are the angels of God. That's right. So when our people, you just just show you how people don't know the Bible. If you knew the, what you was talking about, you would know that those spaceships and the extraterrestrials are the angels of God. That's right. They're what the world calls extraterrestrial. We know them as the angels, and they can take on any form they want. And they black, and they your your brothers. Simple. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm getting mad. Message. I'm coming with documentation. We ain't playing no games. Watch and, the women know, sitting I around. I really don't leave no holes. Look how the women look when he talk. Look how she smile. So, how she smile. She all happy. Various uh, amount of subjects, but my number one subject matter is the black woman is God. That's first and foremost. You know, you might have your God, and that's cool, but he got to scoot over. So with that being said, look at her. Look at her. Black woman is God. I proved that biologically. He said proved biologically. Spiritually, historically. If you got a Quran, I'll show you it in there. If you got a Bible, I'll show you it in there. If you got a Torah, I'll show you it in there. Pause it. If you ate. I will give I will give this brother the Bible. I will give him my Bible. And I say, show me in the Bible where God is a woman. And if you can show me that, I'll leave the truth. But Bruh. you can't do it. There ain't no way. You have no. You know what I'm saying? We'll follow you. We'll all follow you right. if you can show us that. You can't show us that. That's a false statement, bro. Right. We just read in Genesis. That destroys it. But he going to come. You know, you know what he going to do? He'll come with semantics. Certain scriptures you read, you understand? And he'll try to flip them and twist them without no understanding. And if you ain't keeping God's laws and don't know you an Israelite, you'll be fooled by a Negro like this. Right. Now, I'm going to show you how confused he is. Go to the other video with my boy Jesse Lee Peterson. Now, you know Jesse Lee Peterson a coon. He a coon. But he can get under anybody's skin. <laughs> he can get under people's it's skin. Sad. I'm going to show you this. Now, start off at 11 minutes and 20 seconds. We're going to go to 12 minutes and 25 seconds. I want you to see something. 11 minutes and 20 seconds. Show that. Still being his lower self. Talking about uh, God. Are, do you subscribe God as still being as being his lower self? Um, in a religious sense, I do believe that the God um is in what you would call his lower self due to him, you know, uh killing, you know, a minimum of two point eight million people on this planet, a maximum of twenty eight million. Uh he also stated that he was a jealous God. Jealousy is a lower thought form and a lower form of emotion. Pause. Um he Negro. Who, who do we think he is? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> this thing, the, I'm telling you, that spirit that comes behind idolatry actually makes you think that you can question God. When God, get that real quick in, in Exodus 34 and 14. Yeah. Why did God say he was a jealous God? Let's see. Get that in Exodus. The book of Exodus, chapter 34 and verse 14. For thou shalt worship no other God, for the Lord, whose name is jealous, is a jealous God. So the reason God says that he's a jealous God is because he the one created us. He the one saved us out of Egypt. He the one destroyed the greatest nation on the planet Earth at that time, the Egyptians, and brought us out unscathed. That's right. You understand? So he said, look, you better make sure you worshiping me. Because I'm jealous and I bring judgment on your behind. Because I'm the one that gave you life and saved you. That's why. It's, that's not a, a lower thought form. What we not gave, made in God's image? We was made all your the thing like anger. You understand? Hatred. That all come from the Lord. Right. You understand? We, we learned that the Lord. The Lord a man of war. How you think men learn how to war? We learned that from God. So every type of emotion that you can think of was learned from the Father. Was given from the Father. Created by the father. This man, go here, read. Oh, show the man. He, he chose to impregnate a 12 year old because Virgin Mary was 12 years old. Pause. In order to. Where in the hell can I read that Virgin Mary was 12? When you look at the Zondervan Bible Dictionary, it says a virgin is a woman of maritable age. Now, the brothers can go to war or have a wife until they was how old? 20. 20. So the woman can, but the woman can get married at 12, though. Getting pregnant at 12. Bruh. I'd say this why. And then, then he trying to say, he said God impregnated her. So he think immaculate conception, which the Bible don't, don't teach. Go ahead. 
to sacrifice his only begotten son for sin that he created. Meanwhile, never told his son why he was being for, uh, excuse me, why he was being sacrificed. This is why Jesus asked, you know, why have you forsaken me? So I believe that, that God is a, a negligent parent if he is real and that he definitely exists in his lower self. So you believe that God is in a fallen state like humans are? Probably worse. This yeah. brother said, hold pause. Amazing. He said that God is in a worse state than man. You Who raised you? I'm, I'm telling you, bro, this is the spirit that comes from worshiping an idol. Remember we just read it was Solomon 1427. Read it one more time for us, please, please, please. Yes, sir. These Negroes crazy out here, man. This dude got 92,000 followers on Twitter. I mean, on um YouTube. His message is going out, but he ain't got no people, like no congregation, nothing. People just watching his videos. People don't join people like this. They just watch their videos for entertainment and barbershop knowledge. But if you ever walk in a barbershop with some stuff like this and the Israelites in there, you're going to get destroyed. <laughs> Read it one more time. The book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 27. For the worshiping of idols Read. not to be named Read. is the beginning, Read. the cause, and the end of all evil. Read. For neither they are mad when they be married. So for either they are mad when they be married. Read. Or prophesy lies. Or prophesy lies. Them all lies he just said. Read. Or live unjustly. I, he lives unjustly. He lives unjustly. And he going to talk about his criminal past in a minute. But we don't. We don't uh, condemn brothers from because some of us got criminal past. We would we forsook that thing, but he been living unjustly. Read or else lightly forswear themselves or lightly forswear themselves to say something so stupid like God is in a fallen state worse than man. Man is actually in a better state than God. That what he's saying. This nigga crazy. Right. Hey, go forward. Go forward, man. Go to fourteen minutes. Uh, he think man is in control of God. That's, right. that's what he think. The white man is in control of God right. because of his nuclear capabilities. Wow, that's right. He he on the white man. He on the oppressor side. That's right. Go ahead. Because well, I didn't have no parents. Amazing. And so another question I have for you. Do you really, it's been said that you believe that the black woman is God. So do you really believe that the black woman is God? <laughs> From my understanding that I just laid, which I'll give again quickly, yes. Once again, God is the highest extent of the mind. And you don't smoke pot, right? No, I don't. So you got to be high, nigga. <laughs> been near Bruh. Pot. From my understanding, of course I've been near pot. What you mean? I got charges on my criminal record for pot. I've been near pot. Who hasn't been near pot? This is America. If you walk on the ground... And you walk on the soil. You Why do you there? have charges Pause, on your this dude crazy. Record. Talking about walking on ground, son. Hey, go for it. Um, go to uh, 16 minutes and 40 seconds, man. It get worse. So remember he said God was in a fallen state. Man was in a fallen state, right? He said the black woman is God, right? Dude said you must be high. You got to be high, bro. Right. Read this. Let me show this. If you believe that the black woman is God, who is the black man? Well... Pause. Crickets. Hey, we, <laughs> crickets. Hey, Damn, hey, son. Hey, where'd you find nobody. this? Nobody. That's what he was going to say. Nobody. Bro, he got cut. So he basically saying that he ain't S.H. Right. But he couldn't say it. He had to think about what he going to say. Right. He done dumbfounded this brother. <laughs> Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Right there. Just pull from right there. Watch this. So if you believe that the black woman is... God, if you believe that the black woman is God, who is the black man? Well, go back, go back, go back. I'm sorry, go back. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I laughed at this for like 30 minutes at my house. My wife thought, I, she's like, what's wrong with you? I was like, this nigga crazy, man. Show it again, show it again. God, if you believe that the black woman is God, who is the black man? Well, we we all are one. Let me give an example. A what? black man is an XY chromosome. A Y chromosome is an XX chromosome minus 2.8% of his own. Bro, what are you man. talking about, man? <laughs> go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Hey, you old boy, bro. You old boy. Hey, go back, bro. Go back. Go back to 16 minutes and 40 seconds again. Now, y'all try to hold y'all peace because Jesse Lee Peterson finna cut him. 
I want just, just listen, bro. Listen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, man. Well, we we all are one. Let me give an example. All right. A black man is an XY chromosome. A Y chromosome is an XX chromosome minus 2.8% of his own genetic matter. I don't know about the chromosome, man. <laughs> I don't know. If you believe the black woman is God, who is God? <laughs> He had to go to the white man's right. science to, to explain who he is. <laughs> Wait, what sense does that make? Let, let me get this uh, this uh, science book, and I'm going to explain who the black man is. Come on, bro. You a god on the earth, bro. Right, right, right. God. That's right. Hey, the brother said, the brother said, um, the the X Y chromosome the X X chromosome is two point eight percent of his own. He said, "Man, I don't know nothing about no chromosome, man." <laughs> Grab <laughs> right his chest, right back, bro. Run right it back. Go to sixteen minute fifty second. Go ahead. <laughs> Do it again. X Y chromosome. A Y chromosome is an X X chromosome minus two point eight percent of his own genetic matter. I don't know about the chromosome. <laughs> I want to know if you believe the black woman is God. Who is we're, the black man? We're God too. You got the same skin as your mother. We actually have female skin. So, what? so the reason that I'm Pause, bro. Pause it, man. Man, this nigga was crazy, man. He blew a bug out they mind. Hey, wow. hey, give me that real quick, bro. Give me that real quick and Ciroc. Bring it out. Ciroc, oh, yeah. to yourself, That is powerful niggardry at work, here. Yeah. Go to Ciroc 21. Go to Ciroc 21 and read 18, bro. Read Ciroc 21 and 18. Or Ecclesiastes chapter 21 and verse 18. Wow. As is a house that is destroyed, so is wisdom to a fool. And the knowledge of the unwise is as talk without sense. As what? As, is as talk without sense. You sound crazy. He said you got your mama skin. <laughs> <laughs> what? You got skin of a woman. Bro, that's so crazy. So why, if I got skin of a woman, why I grow a beard then? She don't grow no beard. Bruh. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.